so you're welcome back to this episode of this video and in this video we are going to learn about javascript objects so objects store more than one value using key value pair remember in our last video we learned about arrays an array store more than one value using the index value pair so objects store more than one value using the key value pair and the key value pairs are called properties of an object so in this video you are going to learn how to get object properties how to add new properties to an object how to delete a property from an object so let's begin so i'll move to my vs code i'll open my browser i'll do ctrl a and delete this so that we have some rooms so we are learning about objects remember objects are used to store more than one value using key value pairs now an object in a real world contains properties of a particular stuff it can be of a cat let's say a cat is an object or if we use the english word for now you say a noun is a is the name of a place animal place or things so something like that so notice that anything that you can see you can feel you can go to is we can say is an object so an object in real life is something that you can see you can feel so like a cat now for example or a dog is an object something that you can see you can play with you can buy so so a cat have some properties it has a color it has legs so it has a the way it makes noise so it does not bark or something like like a dog maybe it has the way it eats the way it sleeps the owner and something else so we can put that inside an object so let's use a dog for example so let dog so let my dog is an object you use the curly bracket now remember for an array you use the square bracket for an object you use the use the curly bracket so this is just one of the easiest way to declare an object in javascript and this is the syntax so you have to take note of it unless you have an error if you put a square bracket here then JavaScript will think that you're declaring an array. So, so a, a dog will have an owner. So, owner. So, I'll put my name, Madi Chile. Then it will have an age. So, I'll put two years. It will have the color put white then to have a breed and put German Shepherd so this is an object so you notice that this owner age color and breed it is the key then this amadi to white and german is the value so if you join the key and the value this is a property of the object this is a property this is a property this is the property so there's something else that you have to know about object when you are declaring the keys of an object 
I can decide to put this in a quote and it will not have an error but I think my prettier will remove that but when it's composite as you put it in a quote is this when the property of the object has a space so for example if I want to give this property something like a seek times so this is this is like how many times <coughs> the dog has fallen sick <coughs> since it was more or since I purchased it so if I put like seven times you notice this did not throw an error so this is just something that <clears throat> i thought you should know about so the next thing is how do we get <clears throat> the object properties and as you know if you this this my dog object has the owner property the age property the color the breed and this so unlike objects you don't assess the properties of an object by knowing the index you just know the key so this is a slight difference why array forces you to count the index in order for you to get the items object does not force you to do that you just need to know the key um, once you know the key it will get you the value so let's demo that so to get the property of so let's say i want to get the breed of this dog of this my dog so i have to log that's not what i meant consider log my dog dot breed so if i save notice to show me German Shepherd now if I say dot six times if I hit enter my intelligence then I'm going to change the code to this so if I say to show me it 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 will show me seven so if you have an object property that has a space that means to assess it you cannot use the dot notation to assess it just like we did here so if i bring this one up and say dot breed you can assess it like this so you, you must use this method now Talking about this bracket notation, one of its use cases when the value of your object or the key of your object includes spaces, then you must use this bracket notation. Now, on that case, where you can use this bracket notation is if you want to use a variable name to assess property of an object so let's say let my dog key be equal to so let's say I, I want to check for the color of the dog so let me just put your color so you notice that this my dog key if I come down here and I want to type dot my dog key you notice if i type that it show me undefined because this my dog key is not a key or this variable my dog key does not exist as a property inside the object but i want to the value of this my key is actually a 
a it's actually a property or a key inside my dog object so how do i make this work so you know i need to use this bracket notation and i'll put my dog key so remember that this my dog key is the same thing as what as a color and this is the color so if i do this it will print white so this is the two instances where you can use the bracket to take the bracket notation to get the properties of an object when the key of an object has space and when you want to use a variable to uh, get a key from the object so that is for that next one is how to add new properties to an object so i'll show you two methods of doing this so the first method is this now if you notice this doc property here uh, does not have the gender property so it can be a male or what a female so how do i do that so i can come down here can come down here and add my dog dot gender equal to means that I want to re remember the equal to in JavaScript is assignment so I want to assign I want to add this property so I'm going to put male so if I put my consider log my dog And save you notice that I'm going to have the following age breed color gender and owner and six times so originally before this if I move this upward you notice that originally I don't have the gender there's the gender originally I don't have gender so where is it gender let me open this okay the gender is here male let me see here male. so it seems that for an object once you update a value it updates everywhere so it's not like the array where you must do a console log down before you you, you see the update so you, you notice that i i did this my dog above here and i'm seeing the gender and, and i also did it below here and i'm seeing the gender which is not supposed to be the case so this is one thing about the object it of this by preference so once you update once you update something not this something it updates the object instantly okay so that is for that how to add the properties then now you notice that if i want to add more than one property now i have to be doing this thing as many times as i want let's say i want to add uh country so let's say the dog the the, the country where the dog is of course it will be the country of the owner but if i put here nigeria you notice that i will have that here so but what if i want to do this too on the same line of code so there's another way you can do that so you, you use the object dot assign then you put the object that you want to assign this which is what my dog then a comma then an object so i, I cannot add gender which is what male 
then I'm gonna add country which is what Nigeria I'm gonna add best food so it can be milk it can be bone something like that so you notice that using this object.assign which is in between javascript i can i will be able to add gender country and best food at the same time unlike this one that i'll be it one after the other so let's check it out so you notice if i bring this down so notice i have my a i have my best food i have my gender and i have my what I have my country all added at once so this is how you add properties to an object and the next one is how to delete a property from an object very very straightforward so let's do that so to delete let's say the country property from the object all i need to do just like the array i'll use the delete keyword so i'll use delete delete here then my dog dot country so if i do this and save notice that if i come down here i'll not see i'll not see the country again and if i even go up here i'll not see the country so unlike the array this delete in the object does a clean delete but in the array you notice it does not do a clean delete unless you use your splice so this is it about objects so in the next video we are going to learn which is for a Sunday class you are going to learn about the following first of all there will be a video for functions the conditional loops JS higher array method and the power of algorithms so see you in the next video